Would you like? Yeah, to touch this, on? this is yo. And another thing, since Laurent's already up here cursing, why the fuck do you guys give Draymond so much credit for everything? Like everything that he says is God's gift to Earth. Explain to me why Draymond was right in the situation. Oh, cat, I remember vividly being up twenty and you were still in the game getting point. Draymond, you do that on losses too. Every basketball player does not want to come out of the game. I got, I, I got you with that. It's because it's because Cat has consistently been in that type of environment. Cat has been consistently been that guy to sit out because he's getting blown the hell out. That is the reason. Cat is a loser. Cat has Bro, always been say, a loser. Okay, okay. <laughs> is Zach Levine was Zach Levine a loser? Yes. And now, what is he now? When you put a team around him. Now Number he's a winner. In the fucking East. Next, now next he's a winner. Year. We okay. Yo, so you we go, Chris. We, no, no, no. Yo, I'm down. Okay, for it. if that's the case, Damian, <laughs> Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is a loser. No, because Damian he's Lillard translates to playoffs. No. To playoff. Uh, 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 to make the playoffs. Cat, Paul it George. doesn't translate. Paul George. Paul George. Paul George is the same thing. Paul George is the same well, thing. But but, but he but he lays an egg. You know what I mean by narrative every playoffs. Again, it's narrative. That's not my opinion. That's narrative. I believe Paul George translates to making the playoffs. To me, that's being successful. Wait, no, Cat, no, so you're a Cat loser. Ever made the playoffs? Has Cat ever made the guess playoffs? Guess who we made the playoffs with? It doesn't matter. I'm actually. No, guess, guess who we made the playoffs with? Jimmy Yetler. Yes, when, when he had a decent core around him. Correct? No, 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 no. He had that. When Jimmy Butler left, he had that same core before and after. He didn't do nothing because he's a loser. Who is Jimmy Butler? Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is better than Cat. Jimmy Butler's been to Andrew Wiggins. He's that guy, like I keep telling wait, wait, you guys. Wait, 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 He's that guy wait, wait, I trust wait, wait, to lead wait, wait, my no, I'm team. Asking you, who to was win the games. Jimmy Butler? Who was the Jimmy Butler when Cat left? When, when Jimmy left? Um, why do you need a replacement if you're that good? If you're not a stat pattern, if you well, care if you about winning have, games, if you don't have a replacement, then that's not the same core. Then wait, but why wait. is the drop off so bad? The drop off is terrible. How do you go from making the playoffs because to you, being a lottery ticket Because you say team? because you say the drop off is that bad because you say that Jimmy's this guy. So if Jimmy's exactly. now gone and they don't replace him, then that means that's number one, that not goes the same core, you, and then no, they no, have no. a huge drop off. That goes to show you what Jimmy Butler is. That goes to no, show no, no, you no, what Jimmy goes Butler to, is. No, that goes, goes to show you. No, that goes to show you what a halfway very, decent player does on the team. That is a halfway reason, decent like player. Said. So Jimmy Butler is a halfway decent player. Well, no. Have, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Don't, don't take that out of context. What I'm saying is, you can, you can plug in. A halfway decent player it doesn't have to be Jimmy Butler. It doesn't have to be a, a player that's on the same level as Jimmy Butler. It can be somebody right below that. Let's say a 3.8 out of those five stars. And they can contribute more wins to that, to that same unit. I don't believe unit. so. I don't believe so. Because if that's the so case. Without, so what you're saying, is without Jimmy, they're, they're just losing. They, is it, Jimmy Butler or you know, for them to win or nobody else? It's proven. It's proven. Without Jimmy, they're not winning. How so is there's it that, nobody else how, that they can trade for that they can the fact, turn their franchise around. That's, that's, that's what not saying. what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that how is it that the drop-off from Jimmy being there and from Jimmy not being there is so drastic? So that goes to show Jimmy's me the type of player that you are. Jimmy Jimmy is right below a superstar but level what, player. But, but, but Lamont, okay, so, why is the, okay, the drop-off so bad? Star. They go from a playoff team. Hold on, wait. They go from a playoff team to a lottery team. Dub, let's give K, let's give Cat any All Star because the only fucking player in the top ten in all of these teams that's getting the places without an All Star right right now is Nikola Jokic. So let's just kill all of that rest of that narrative. Jokic that, is that be making the play. Wait, that Jokic you should be is making the playoffs. Player. Wait, wait, wait. I know, but you're, let's kill the narrative that you should be making a playoff without an All Star because that's not true. And, so so and let's Kat's give not let's, top sixteen too apparently. So Who? so let's give Cat it's his Carl right. All, He's not top sixteen. We just did the list. Who's and dub, do not oh, dub, do not do this because if you go based off of stats, if you take out winning or losing, cat should be top sixteen. So stop. Okay, right now. if we're going based off stats, as I said before, when I make all my rankings, I go off who do I want as my best player of my team. Cat is not in that category. I don't Wait, want him as my best player. No, no, no. But you have Dame in that category. You have uh, Paul George yep. in that category. You yep. have guys that are not producing right now in that category. Yep. That's why that's no, a weird No, it's because category. I've seen those guys. I've seen those guys able to carry the load to make their team a playoff team. And I have faith in them to make them of a team that much better. I don't have this, faith this in Cat. I've never is, seen that see, from this is See, this is the problem right now in the NBA. You put a guy that has made the playoffs consistently, Jimmy Butler, which he even made the 
finals. So let's not even use Jimmy, but let's say a Paul George. You guys take these guys that have teamed up with other all-stars and been on great teams and you put them on the top floor. Then you try to take a Zach Levine from last year or a cat that has never had a team outside of Jimmy Butler. I don't care what you guys are. Sit up here trying to tell me that cat had a team. We did cat have a team. Cat is ass. Cat, hey, we just have to acknowledge that. that. We have to acknowledge that. that. When it comes to winning games, when it comes to winning games, Cat is bring trash. I am sorry. Hey, that whole thing, yeah. that whole thing that, that, that whole thing he had on that whole yeah. stream saying, oh yeah, I played he, he with that squeaky behind voice. Oh yeah, I played a win. I don't care about stats. I care to win games. Bro, how many winning seasons have you had? You haven't had any. How many, how many people in the chat have a squeaky voice? Dub, what are you doing right now? Why, why can't he have a squeaky voice? No, I'm just saying, bro. It's just like, yo, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. This is just, it's just cat. I honestly, bro, you, this is the, no, I Dub, this like is, cat. No, this is why this is I, not fair. This is the same shit you said about Zach Levine all summer long. I never said that. I told you. I told you this time and time again. I never came for you on your Zach Levine takes. I never did. Not once. I acknowledge what you said. The 50, 40, and 85 was phenomenal i acknowledge everything that you said i never talk bad about zach levine not once when i compared when i ca- when i compared zach levine to jimmy butler when me and you had our little face off that's true i remember I, that yes yep. yes you literally shitted on zach levine in every possible way he's not a winner he can't make the playoffs i brought up covid he missed 10 games because of covid right when they were on the brink of the playoffs i yep. don't care it doesn't matter the rest of the career he was not a winner you put one person in there and you could have literally plugged as i told you guys any player into this person any any player into this besides russell westbrook <laughs> you could have put any player next to zach levine in in even with russ they would have made the playoffs but now with demar we're talking about a championship a finals so this is what I, this is what i said in that debate that you're talking about i said that zach based off his potential i said i like his potential i like where he's going but based uh-huh. off what I know now, I have to put faith in Jimmy Butler due to what I've seen from him already. That's okay, the main reason. Okay, okay. So I got a few questions for you since you brought up Jimmy Butler. Who's better, Zach Levine or Jimmy Butler? As I keep saying, I will always pick Jimmy Butler. I have to see more out of Zach Levine. Can that change for years to come? Absolutely. But based off what I know now, at the end of the day, I haven't seen Zach Levine handle the pressure on what the playoffs brings. I need to see how he reacts to that. I have to. So, I've seen Jimmy so, react to that already. So can, can, we, can you name Cat's top three players that he's playing with right now on his team? Vucevic, DeMar DeRozan, Lonzo. No, 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 Cat. Not, not, oh, Cat, Cat. Oh, my bad. And stop trying to act like Vucevic and Lonzo. Those, see, this is why, th- that, this is why this isn't the Those guys are good players. What are you talking about? No, I know, Vucevic made the All Star game. The I'm, year I'm letting, I'm letting you know, stop trying to act like Vucevic has anything to do with Zach Levine's success right now. Don't, they, or they would be the big three. Vucevic has not been hooping the entire season. He's at his spurts and right now he is cooking. Okay. He's been cooking all year. He's been he's been playing his role to an effective level. Cook- no, exactly. So stop trying to say they're a big three. Bro, honestly, bro, Vucevic, bro, people three. sleep, people sleep on Vucevic heavily, heavily. Vucevic is a very good player in that He's NBA. not they doing what he was doing him. in Orlando because he can't because it's a different role. Yo, do it's you a know what the hell a big three is? What is a big three? You tell me. It what is Vucevic in the big three? As I said. I did. I never said that he was in a big three. I said that Vucevic in that role that he's playing with is in a very effective uh, role. What he's does played that a very effective. Been sound like you know what that context been sounds like to me that Vucevic isn't playing up to what I thought he was going to play up to. But no. since other players have stepped in and made them a number one seed, his production no. has went down. Therefore, I'm trying to steal context been and put him in as a big three, but I can't really do it. Because again, a lot of people like. base a lot of people base everything off of production. I believe uh, Vucevic Fair. is a very good NBA player in today's league. As, a, as you said, if he was on a trash team, he could possibly make the All-Star game due to his opportunity to put up to put up more stats. Okay. Okay. So Vucevic, okay. bro, in his role that he's playing with is amazing. Let's get back to the original, the original argument. So w- tell me who is Cat's teammates? Tell me. Tell me this amazing team that you guys keep caping for. I, w- I would I would love I would no, love right now, team. right now it's trash. Like, I mean, he only has Anthony Edwards, uh Pat. I mean, Pat Bev been hurt or suspended. I don't know what the hell is going on with Pat Bev, but right now his team is trash, and I will give you that. You I'm talking about the 
But what, yeah, what, I, what, what I want to know, I got a question for, for, for anybody who wants to answer this. <laughs> if you take Carl Anthony Towns off that team, oh, how many players can you put on that team and they still make the playoffs? Who many? Who can you exchange Carl Anthony Towns? I can think of probably three three players that would lead that team to the playoffs that Cat's on. If you take Cat off and put them on, I'm the going to go Denver Nuggets. The Denver Nuggets are the fifth. In, they're 18 and 16 right now. The Timberwolves are 16 and 20. At the ninth seed, what are we talking about right here? That cat isn't this winner. That he's not about the playoff, about to make the playoffs because he's making the playoffs this year. Okay, he is. Okay, it's fine. And it's he's like, going to be the number one player on that team when they do. Okay, I mean honestly, there's uh, there's some debate that when Anthony Edwards is on the floor, bro, like Anthony Edwards be showing him up sometimes, bro. He does. That's a, that's a fact. But the Luka, uh, is, uh, the is Dallas tough. Bench, the Dallas, the Dallas bench shows up Luca sometimes. But but you guys sit here and still well, when he doesn't play or when he does play. When he do, when he subbed out of the game. Okay, that's fine. That goes to my point that these NBA players really not play. Jalen Brunson is amazing. He he was really slept on. I slept on Jalen Brunson. I will say that he played phenomenal. How many games did Luca just miss? Ten. He missed. Yeah, something like I don't that. remember. He missed a yeah. lot. They, they, and they're still 18 to 18th in the eighth spot in the West. Yeah, they got a good they team. Didn't pull apart. They got a good team. That's now fine. They, okay. All right. All let's, right. So, let's, all right. let's, 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 no, let's, no, let's, no, no, I'm not done with this cat because cat is a loser. Cat is a loser. Dub, you cat can't is call a him a loser because he's playing for a losing, a historically losing no, franchise, bro. a historically losing franchise, and he's playing with subpar players because I'm like, you can, if, does Jimmy Butler make that play, make the playoffs that year without cat? No, probably. This is, this no. is gross. In the chat, agreeing with Dub about this cat take ah. is really nasty. The same chat that would agree if I would have brought up Zach Levine. That's why I can't get over this because I literally brought up this player that is super efficient, can put the ball in the hoop. All you got to do is give him a team. You give Zach Levine a goddamn team, the number one in the East. So if you give Cat any type of, just give him Luca, you guys' his favorite guy, I'm or anybody else that's comparable. I Listen, guarantee. I'm I guarantee if Cat plays for the Lakers right now. They're wreck. They 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 had they. they That's they, a whole different scenario okay. because Cat isn't the best player of that team. You're putting Cat as the best player of this Minnesota Timberwolves, right? Now there's argument when they're fully healthy that Anthony Edwards is more important. That's the argument that you have. You want to know why? Because Anthony Edwards translates to winning more than Cat does. That's the oh, reason. On the because same team. Cat, how? God. Because oh, because God. if there's an yeah. argument, if there's an argument that. Anthony Edwards could be the best player on that team. That shows you the effect that Anthony Edwards has. Anthony Edwards who, has been who is making that out. argument. Dopey is. No, who's making that argument? Show I, the. I, I feel as if argument. I feel as if Anthony Edwards is more That's important to that team. Take. I believe that. I believe Anthony Edwards is more important to that team. You want to know why? Because Cat has proven to be a loser. He's a loser. Without Jimmy, he's a loser. That one so, year they made the players, he's a loser. They had the same team, the same exact team with Jimmy Butler. He left. He was the only person that left. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? They made, they became a lottery team. He's a loser. And for him to sit here and try to trash Russell Westbrook for stat padding while he's over here losing games is disrespectful to Russell Westbrook. It is. First off, first off before, before, before Draymond or who, who else replied to that? Um, it was one more player. It was Draymond and somebody else replied to this. I think Joel Embiid maybe. Um, but anyways, yeah, before yeah. any of these guys replied to this, Every single person in the goddamn universe agreed with what Cat said. I sat there and I watched when Cat's take came out and hit all of the outlets. If you looked at every single comment, he's not lying. He's not this. I initially thought it was nasty, but hey, this is life. People can get that off. But when Draymond, you would think Draymond is Jesus Christ of the NBA. <laughs> I've never seen something like this ever happen in my life. I'm not even kidding. You got um Buddy from the Jazz, who I like him in Summer League. He was there. We had conversations. What's there? Snyder. Good guy. Great guy. Love him. In person. Amazing guy. But when he sits there and tells me, and it, quote me if I'm wrong, I may be picking the wrong coach that said this, but I just read it. It was early. That Draymond Green should be MVP of the MB He should be in the oh MVP God, conversation. Quinn Snyder. First off, first off, Quinn, you're not about to choose 2022 to get this off. You're not. Because there have been plenty of defensive players that should have won MVP before Draymond Green should win it. 
and you could just go back over the last 20 years. Now, the fact that you want to contribute all of the success in, in Golden State to Draymond, that's fine. But you guys sit here and act like Draymond is that guy. I, I need to see. So it's not, it's not the fact that we believe that Draymond is that guy. No, it's, it's the just... fact that if you put Draymond on in, in Cat's situation over the past eight years, oh, yeah. don't you think he'll be a He's loser? He's trash. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. Whatever you just said, I agree with you. But the point is that this. Dude, you whatever cannot... you just said. No, no, yeah, whatever Shaq just said, I agree with whatever the fuck he just said. So he could but... have said that you're trash and you would have agreed? He What the fuck, Jay? No, it's like this. <laughs> It's, so you just feel like you got the green Draymond, light, so now you're letting off everything. My bad. Draymond. So the point with Draymond is that, Cat, you have not been in, in a lot of winning situations. You have not been a winner for most of your career. For you, for, so for you to sit here and say, yo, for you to sit here and say that, I play to win. I don't stat bad. I play to do this. I play to do that. It's wrong. It's just wrong for you to do that. It just is. It just is, Shaq. I'm sorry. It is. Now, I agree I with you 100%. A cat is way more talented than Draymond Green. 100%. He is. But with what Cat said to try to diss somebody else, but not look at what he is as a player himself. So you're saying wrong. he wasn't, he was out of pocket for saying it, but he Absolutely. wasn't necessarily wrong in his assessment. No, he was wrong with his assessment. But so he was he's dead wrong he, all around. All around. Every single one. He was the wrong person to say it. He was wrong with what he said. Everything, it was just wrong, completely. Every single one of it. I agree that it was wrong to, 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 to come out here and bash because it was it, you're like you're doing it on there with the YouTuber. Um, Aiden Ross. Yeah, Aiden, a YouTuber, a streamer. Um, yeah, so it's like, if you're going to say something like that, it was just the way that he got it off. It was nasty. But I didn't like how Draymond chimed in like with his points like nobody can make a point that basketball players don't stat pad at, at some point in time out the course of a season they're bringing up one instance oh uh, i remember we were vividly up 20 points on you and you were still in the game yeah because my coach told me to stay out there i'm supposed to sub myself out of the game that's also another flaw that's true i agree that's really i'm trying to tell you guys draymond is really a really good and also really nasty person <laughs> he sits back like he never bashed any player in the league. That's funny. And then when Cat does it, because he been rubbed the wrong way, he wants to come to come on, man. Well, then, it's it's like Draymond. His Draymond, COVID Draymond, yeah, nah, this COVID thing is crazy, but Draymond is like Draymond has earned that respect. Draymond has earned that type of like, yeah, like. What I say goes, but what like what you said that everybody's riding on this train, like you said, I don't agree with that. People was like they was agreeing with Cat at first, but then once Draymond says something, they're agreeing with Draymond. I don't like that. I didn't agree with Cat as soon as he spoke because it's just terrible to me. I, I didn't need Draymond to sit here and, and validate me for my own opinion. I don't agree with people who do that at Dude, all. That's wrong. Hold on, my computer is tripping. All right, <laughs> we're switching. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, uh, uh, um, Ron, is Zach Levine a superstar this year? Uh, if 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 this if he keeps up at this pace, at this pace, him and Demar Derozan are both playing like superstars. No, if, if no. They, if they finish atop the East, him and Demar Derozan are both playing like superstars. Okay, I'm uh, okay. Wait, if, if that's how you're looking at this, oh my then god, I'm perfectly fine with that. Wait, so who Zach is Levine a superstar? Is Who's a superstar right now? Right in now. Yeah, do you understand that Zach Levine's last two years, statistic wise, have been better than any year that Kyrie's put up? Zach Levine. No, just answer that question. Based and off if of you what? want to fact check efficiency? me, I'll sit here and no, no. Ba how can you say based off of what efficiency? How do we determine if anybody's good in this league? No, nah, I had a question for Ron. Uh, like, do you think uh, PG is a superstar right now? Nah. I don't right. think PG's <clears throat> stats have ever backed up the fact that he's a superstar. And it's also the same with Jimmy Butler is just like right there on the cusp. I would never give Jimmy Butler a superstar nod in my life, but that's just, I agree. I agree like, as well. I, it's a few guys. It's, do you think uh, DeMar is like on the same, like in that same category with like PG and, and Here's the, Jimmy? Here. No, yeah. I feel like this is the first year. All three of those are interchangeable. You can, you can, 
they're right there at that level. Right I agree. Now. The thing is, no, the thing is the difference between DeMar and a Zach, and then we're going to go down a few notches and bring up the Jimmy Butlers and PGs and those guys. DeMar is actually putting teams on his shoulder and we can see it visibly. This is not an empty stats carnival for DeMar. He's out there manning up, hitting game winners. He doesn't shoot the best three-point percentage. He's actually willing his teams to wins. So that's why for DeMar in this last month, he's been looking so superstar-esque. Right. If you look at DeMar's last month and LeBron James last month, they're the two hottest players in the league right now. We're going to throw Giannis in there. I'm not, I'm not mad at, you know, you saying, you know, we have to, you know, take it down a few notches and then talk about these other guys or whatever, you know, where DeMar is clearly ahead of those guys. But what I'm saying is if we were to like take like a five star rating or whatever, I think mm -hmm. that all of them are four star. None of them are five star. Yeah, now, DeMar, now DeMar star. might be, might be 4.8. 4.9 and Jimmy might as be to three. where Jimmy 4.3 whatever you know what no, I'm saying? he might be 3.0 yo yo if you'll stop with Jimmy bro stop just stop you you want a reaction out of me bro I agree with a lot of what you're saying but Jay that was that was no <laughs> no now you say DeMar's a 4.8 hey, Jimmy's bad, if DeMar's a 4.8 Jimmy's right there with him no, no, yes, three, I, no, three, I think, I think one. not this, no, not this season. I think Absolutely. this season, no, but Jimmy's Jimmy hasn't been playing terrible this year, though. Jimmy's He's been balling. playing phenomenal, phenomenal, yeah, three out of five is great, <laughs> phenomenally. And, and no, despite, no, despite, despite most, despite most of our guys being hurt, despite most of our guys not, bro, we losing Duncan Robinson, Bam out of the We just got PJ Tucker back. This game, Look, every, every, everybody's going through this stuff. It's 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 COVID, it's, it's injuries, again, it's a whole lot of everything. Again, but, again, but the Chicago Bulls, the Chicago Bulls, right? They always either had Zach or Demar. They always had either one or the other. Always. No, 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 facts. But you and Dale both sat there in that seat and told me. Jimmy Butler has the opportunity. <laughs> Whoa, Butler are they George the Bush now? To finish top <laughs> three MVP rating. That's what you guys told me. Yeah, absolutely. At that time, team fully healthy. The and way I we was playing guys, together. I, I looked right in your eyes and said, Dub, that's impossible. Jimmy Butler will never be able to finish top three in any MVP voting. But you know who's about to? But the key word, what we said was, if everything was was healthy, if everything stayed what the is, course. When, when in, the, in the course of the NBA is everything just going as planned? I'm just Except saying. for when KD and Steph and Thanos and all of those guys teamed up to win those championships. Tell me in the league when everything is going as planned. Can we talk about Russell Westbrook? Because I need to know, LaRon, and I want to talk to you. Because... It's obviously getting talked about everywhere else. Is Russell Westbrook playing well? <laughs> he just hit a clutch fourth quarter shot. I don't know what you guys and he's don't tricking see layups, and I'm just curious. Go Everybody tell, misses tell layups. Third option. No, tell me the third option in the league better than Russ. There's a couple. Oh man! Did the zoom go out? Tell me the third <laughs> option in the league better than Russ. I'm not on this topic right now. My, only thing I'm going to say about Russ right now option. is you guys that take anything Russ does and blow it a thousand percent yeah, out of proportion. For sure. King Kobe said Lonzo, Russ, Russ can't like do him. no wrong. But when he does, when he does something good, when he has a good game, we don't hear nothing about it. All we Wait, hear about is Russell Westbrook. Lonzo or Russell Westbrook? I'm still taking Russell Westbrook. I'm sorry. Over who? What, what, hold on. What do you mean by third option? Lonzo like or Russell Westbrook? Happen or what do you mean by third option? Somebody to make something happen or somebody to score? Any third option that you would want to see paired up. Yeah, that you want to see paired up with AD and LeBron. Because I can name some second options that I want over AD. But let's not get on AD right now. Because you guys act as if LeBron's not putting up the craziest numbers of his life and AD isn't out. If AD was here right now, take away about six or seven losses. In everything that uh, Russ has done, I like Draymond. I like Drew Holiday. I like Kyrie, of course. I'm not taking Jordan Poole over Le uh, over Russell Westbrook. I'm not taking Lonzo Ball Jordan over Poole. Russell Westbrook. Man, you guys, if you guys do not stop with this, you guys are absolute morons. If you this just is believe crazy. that Russell Westbrook is trash, you this you, is really you, crazy. You're like you're you're not in your right mind. If just because he turns the ball over a couple times, misses a couple shots, those are not his strong suits. Those are flaws to his basketball game. He has a lot of turnovers. So does James Harden. We don't hear about that. James Harden's leading the fucking league in turnovers. We don't hear about that. We don't hear about that. 
He, he doesn't shoot well. Okay, it's other point guards that don't shoot well historically that have been good point guards. A D shooting 17%. I'm like... Yeah, you guys you guys never talk about the outside of those three and Melo. You guys never talk about the supporting cast. You guys never bring it up. You guys act like there isn't two, two units or two platoons to every team. There's five starters and three or four guys that come off the bench. And you guys don't even talk about how... Okay, let, let's talk about the games in between. You guys say Jokic is the greatest of all time. Me as well. But you guys all give Jokic credit, and they're all fighting for the same positions in the league. But you guys yet to have said anything about the second player on Jokic's team, the third player on Jokic's team. You guys only like to hate Russ because AD's out, but no, nobody was talking about when AD was out there BSing for the entire season. That's not – AD's fall off since the championship is more detrimental than anything that Russ is doing right now. If AD is playing even remotely close to how he was playing in the bubble, we're not talking about any of this. Russ can literally go out there and just kick around a can. How do I know? Because J James Harden kicked around a can. And Kyrie Irving sometimes kicked around a can. And KD was just out there doing his thing.